Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide which is where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon. Now this week's one called Touring Wagon wants you to own and drive the 1990 Mercedes-Benz 190E to complete all of the challenges with. Now I'm sure that most of you guys will have this car but if not you can pick it up in the auto show for 150,000 credits or I'm sure there's plenty of them going cheap in the auction house as well but this is the car in question. Now I have also got a tune for you guys to use. It's called Forzathon EVG and the share code for that is 162779398. Now you may not need a tune but it does always help uh, and it will help you complete this first challenge very quickly. So the first one just wants you to earn a total of three stars from speed traps in your Mercedes Benz. Now like I said this is really easy and it will take you less than a minute. So what I recommend doing is heading over to the Astmore speed trap. So three stars on here is 140 mile an hour, which to do in your Mercedes Benz is very easy, but if you've got a tuned one, it's even easier. So you don't need a massive run up either, even though I kind of am having one here, but ignore that, you don't actually need to have a huge run up. Um, I would definitely, like I said, recommend tuning it. Create your own tune, it's always something fun to do, but if not, that one was available for you. So 140 mile an hour is three stars, super quick and easy. Now the next challenge here wants you to earn six clean racing skills. Now a race, a clean racing skill can only obviously be done during a race and it basically is where you don't come into contact with any other car or sort of objects and smash into stuff. Now you can do this on whatever race but I went over to the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit and just entered the standard three lap race for retro saloons as that's what category this Mercedes falls under. Now it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're first or eighth or whatever, it doesn't make a difference. As long as you're not coming into contact with any other car, every so often you'll see the clean racing skill pop up. And if you keep on tallying them, you'll get awesome clean racing, uh, ultimate clean racing, etc, etc. Really, really easy to do. And you'll probably get it done within about two laps, probably halfway through your second lap, you'll have this challenge completed. But at the end of the day, as long as you don't come into contact with anyone or anything, it's all right if you sort of run over shrubs or knock a little bollard over. That won't make a massive difference. But if you do slam into another AI car, then it will not count and you won't get the clean racing skill. But like I said, it's a really easy thing to do. If you do have any questions, you are struggling with it, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Obviously, there you saw I basically got the equivalent of a trade and paint skill, but it still allowed it. But if you actually slam into them, you will not get it. Now the last challenge here is super easy and it just wants you to drive for a total of 20 miles. So this is one where I say it's not even a challenge at all, but I recommend heading over to the motorway to complete this as quickly as possible. Just drive flat out until you unlock the challenge probably take you about five to ten minutes i wouldn't say it's any more than that but it's really really easy it's just another one of those time consuming tasks but like i said it doesn't take too long if you just storm down the motorway uh, until you hit 20 miles then that'll be challenge complete uh, nice and easy way to finish off this week's Forzathon. Now hopefully this guide did help you guys out, but if you are struggling with anything, please do not hesitate to let me know. Just tell me down below in the comments and I'll try and help you out to the best of my ability. Anyway folks, like I said, I hope this helped you out and hope you enjoyed. Don't forget if you're new to the channel to subscribe and also drop a like. But apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.